Hi, I'm Marisa Hasek, and we are here for our third session of Water Talks. Last time we talked about how water supply was impacted by drought this past year. So we talked about some water supply uh, issues, and now we're going to be talking about some distribution issues. To understand and solve the stream flow problems in every year, and particularly in a drought year, we've got Kyle Gorman here talking about um, how water is managed in the Deschutes Basin. Kyle, let us. Thank you, Marisa. Uh, Thank you. Thanks, Marisa. All right, so in the Deschutes River, and folks may not realize this, but uh, water development started occurring in 1900. And so the area around Bend, Redmond area was settled be because of water and irrigation development. So we have a series of irrigation districts that span uh, priority date ranges from 1899 to 1913. So you look back and you say, all those irrigation districts were developed in that short 14 year period of time. At the time uh, when those, that last district was uh, developed, the state of Oregon set aside water for a future project, which included Wikiup Reservoir and the rehabilitation of Crane Prairie Reservoir. So those two reservoirs were built for irrigation, although they do provide uh, many opportunities for recreation today. But really the primary purpose of those reservoirs was for storage of irrigation water to be used in these irrigation districts that are around and spread out uh, from Bend all the way to Madras in Central Oregon. So the river, the Chutes River at Bend is diverted by those irrigation districts and their priority date, which Oregon is a prior appropriation doctrine state, uh, plays a big role in, in how much. And that really played out in dramatic fashion this past year with the short water supply uh, and then North Unit irrigation district in the Madras area being the most junior district actually ran out of water out of Wikiup Reservoir. So it really had a big impact and it all came down to the priority dates. Wow, sounds like a perfect storm of uh, conditions lining up to create a really difficult situation. Um, given this distribution of water, Kate, can you walk us through how the DRC and um, our partners are working together to solve this problem? Yeah, thanks Marisa and Kyle. Uh, as Kyle mentioned, the, the priority dates of irrigation districts is really the key here. And so when we need to solve stream flow problems, we have to coordinate amongst these districts. I'm specifically gonna talk about the upper Deschutes flow problem. Kyle mentioned Wikiup Reservoir uh, stores water for irrigation districts. And in this case, almost totally for the North Unit Irrigation District that is north in the basin, that is the pink area. Um, they also have the most junior water right, which is why they rely on stored water. So in a drought year, they're going to take the biggest hit. Um, the other irrigation districts vary depending on their priority dates, but some of the more senior districts like the light green Central Oregon Irrigation District has fairly reliable stream flow from the river, um, even mostly in drought years. So in order to to actually restore flows in the Upper Deschutes River, um, you need to release more water in the winter from Wikiup Reservoir. Um, but you can't do that unless you provide more water security to those junior irrigation districts, uh, in particular North Unity Irrigation District, to some extent a couple other ones as well. Um, so everything we do at the DRC is, is laser focused on, on projects and programs that can find water savings opportunities and water marketing opportunities within those senior irrigation districts so we can move that water, make that available um, through incentive-based voluntary agreements to junior irrigation districts like North Unit so that we can restore flows in the upper Deschutes in the winter. Uh, there's a variety of tools that we use to do that and we'll look forward to going more in depth um, in future, future water talks into those tools. Great, thanks you guys. Um, so stay tuned for upcoming water talks. Next time we're tackling the solutions for a better balance in the basin. So we hope that you're enjoying this series. And if you have questions, as always, reach out um, and let us know and we'll, we'll answer your, your queries. All right, thanks you both um, so much for your time today and we'll look forward to talking to you again soon. All right, Thank you. very welcome.